Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this segment of the video, I'm going to show you how filter works in Power BI Desktop. So guys, once we have created the visualization, sometime there is a need to filter out some of the categories. At that time, we'll be using these filters. Now, as we are using the Power BI, we have an upper edge out here. The reason being, we have three type of filters out here. The first being the basic filter, the second being the advanced, and third is my top end filters. Now, let me start off with the basic filters. Now, my basic filter works in a very similar and simple manner, where we have the checkbox where I can select the category which I want to display. So this is how the basic filter works. It's very easy to check and it is very easy to hover around those options. The second one is the advanced filter. Now in advanced filter we can apply certain rules. Rules like if it is beginnings with something, it contains some text, it does not something contain some text. So if you click on the drop down menu under advanced filter, at that time you will find n number of rules from where we can select from or we can also create our own rule. The very third one is the top end filter. Now my top end filter is the most uh, used filters in Power BI. Once we have this top end filter, we can get our category the way I want. Now how it works is very simple. The top, the top end, the end stands out here with the number. So let's say for a segment, I would like to show you the top five performers or the top three performers or the top 10 performance. So at that time, I'll be using this feature called as top end features. Now how this filter works and how to apply these filters, we'll go ahead and see in our practical approach. Hello friends and welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to apply filters and top end filters in Power BI. All right, so let's get started off. Now, as you can see on my screen, I have already created three visuals right in front of you. The first visual is basically a tree map, which is showing me revenue by different manufacturers. The second visual that I see on the screen is basically a pie chart which is showing me revenue by different region. You can see all the three regions and it is showing me its revenue. And the third visualization that we see out here is revenue by different state and it is basically a field map in which it has automatically taken the states and applied how much uh, revenue that each region has given them or the each state has given them. All right, guys. Now I'll move on to the tree map and see how the filters are being applied in this particular tree map. All right, guys. Now let's get started off. Now in order to apply filters, I have to select that uh, particular visualization go under the field uh, pane and under the field pane I will scroll right to the bottom where I can find filters. Now let me clarify you one thing the filters out here is similar to the filters that we see in the pivot chart. If you remember in Microsoft Excel we can create pivot charts and whenever we create pivot charts we get the drop down menu from which I can select a certain criteria and get the visualization accordingly. So the filters out here is similar to that itself. Let's go ahead and and check this out. I will go under this filter pane and under the filter pane, do you see there is a manufacturer drop down menu? If I click on this drop down menu, it will show you the type of filters. So if I click on this drop down menu of filter type, I can see there are three types. That is first one is basic filtering, second one is advanced filtering and third one is the top end filtering. Let's start with the basic filtering and how does it work? So if I'll simply click on basic filtering, the moment I select basic filtering, what it shows is it shows me the list of all the manufacturers out here. And if I want to select, let's say I want to see the visualization for the first uh, five to six of manufacturer I simply have to select them and mark them accordingly and accordingly my visualization will be shown in this particular tree map so as of now it is just showing me this visualization for all these seven manufacturer isn't that easy guys so this is how you can apply a basic filter out here all right guys Moving on with the next one, let's select all so that every visual is being selected. Now I'll move on with the next one is the second one is my advanced filtering. Now the advanced filtering is little advanced which gives me uh, what it says is shows item when the value contains. Now if I click on this drop down menu, it is giving me list of option which says does not contain starts with does not start with is is not and the rest of them, right? So basically I am applying filter 
filter according to my own need whether that particular visualization should contain certain manufacturer should not contain certain manufacturer also if you can see if you scroll right to the bottom there is basically and and or out here basically what does it says it should whenever i select and so both the criteria should be fulfilled whenever i select or either of the criteria is fulfilled out here and it gives me the visualization accordingly so depending on your need you can select either and or we can select either or all right so this is how the advanced filtering is being uh, seen out here i will go on this drop down menu quickly and i will show you how this the top end is working so if i click on this top end the moment i click on this top end it is showing you the show items that is top or bottom and out here you can actually type the number that is 3 so what it signifies show me only top three manufacturer but depending on what depending on their revenue so if you see right at the bottom i have by value so i have to select this revenue and drop it out here so that it will only filter the top three manufacturer depending on the revenue what they have all right the moment i apply this filter you can see the top three manufacturers out here isn't that simple guys again all right so this is how the filters are been applied for basic advanced and top end right so this was about the basic filtering uh, now uh, I would like to show you one more thing that whenever I go to this revenue drop down menu whenever I select this drop down menu it is also giving me an option whether I would like to see only those visuals which are less than or greater than or greater than or equal to is not almost same range of option and out here also I have uh, the and and or option where I can select which should be greater than something and let's say it should be less than something so I can apply the in between using this and uh, option where it will apply it will show me visuals which are greater than some billions and less than some millions right so this is how it has been applied out here so you can uh, apply the filters depending on what criteria that you have to choose depending on that you can apply the filters out here in power bi all right guys so this is as simple as this is how to apply filters in power bi okay it's a very easy task and anybody can do this oh okay so this was all about this videos where we learned how to apply filters and the top end filters in power bi hopefully you guys like this video see you until next time